searching for answers Only you provide Cause you know just what we need Before we say a word You're a good, good father It's who you are It's who you are It's who you are And I'm loved by you It's who I am in all of your ways you are perfect in all of your ways you are perfect in all of your ways to us you are perfect God you are perfect in all of your ways you are perfect in all of your ways you are perfect in all your ways to us. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I take refuge in him for who is God beside the Lord and who is a rock only our God God he clothes me with strength and makes my way perfect he makes my feet like the feet of a deer and sets me securely on the heights he trains my hands for war my arms can bend a bow of bronze you have given me the shield of your salvation your right hand upholds me and your humility exalts me. You make a spacious place beneath me for my steps and my ankles do not give way. I pursue my enemies and overtake them. I do not turn back until they are wiped out. I crush them and they cannot get up. They fall beneath my feet. You have clothed me with strength for battle. You subdue my adversaries beneath me. You have made my enemies retreat before me. The Lord lives, blessed be my rock. The God of my salvation is exalted. God, he grants me vengeance and subdues peoples under me. He frees me from my enemies. You exalt me above my adversaries. You rescue me from violent men. Therefore, I will give thanks to you among the nations, Lord. I will sing praises about your name. He gives great victories to his king. He shows loyalty to his anointed, to David and his descendants forever.
Amen. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that your victories are not mediocre. God, but they're great. Thank you that your victory on the cross is an overwhelming victory. It's an all-encompassing victory. Thank you, God, that, that in you we can think big and we can dream big dreams because, Lord God, your victories are great. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Thank you, Lord. I'm going to uh, pass over to Ife in, in a second, but I, I didn't mention at the beginning of the meeting and probably should have that we're just recording what we're doing this morning to, to have a look at it afterwards and see what this looks like if we were to put it on YouTube or, or whatever. So um, that's just to let you know that that's happening. Um, but I, I know that Ife has got a word on his heart and, uh, and I'm looking forward to hearing it. So, so go for it, my friend. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I think you can unmute now because it's so good to be able to speak to everyone. Do you know, in the past when we were doing the recording, I was kind of talking to a wall and hoping that the message was getting across. But this is just wonderful. So please just feel free to respond like we're back in church in the good old days. Let's Amen. remember the days pre-March. Praise the Thank Lord. <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? Um, so, um, like... I just wanted you to imagine something like maybe you were at work or, or at school or wherever, do you know, and like without warning, some strange person you'd never met before looking like something you'd never seen before comes to you and starts telling you about, well, about a baby, right? Okay. Like, <laughs> and you're thinking, wait, what's this all about? And then suddenly there's a whole host, like a concert right in front of you. And just as you are beginning to think, wow, they're singing for me. You realize they're not. <laughs> they're singing about something completely different. Now, yeah. that, that's probably the picture that the shepherds had when the, that's probably how they felt. If you read that passage that Chris um, um, talked about earlier on, and which we've been talking about a lot because it's Christmas, it's in Luke chapter 2. I think we might turn to our Bibles a lot. So if you don't have your Bible, you have time to quickly grab one. It's in Luke chapter 2, verse 14. And, and the angels sang, they sang, they sang, glory to God in the highest. Yeah. And on earth, peace to men on whom his favor rests. Wow. Do you yeah. know, at, like, you know, at first it was just one angel. He was just telling the shepherds this story. And then there was this whole host. It was like, wow. But what were they singing about? They were singing about God. Yeah. Glory to him. Yeah. And then they were singing about us. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. us. Yeah. Peace and yeah. goodwill to all those in whom the Lord favors. That's, as Chris always says, that's us. It is. Yeah. And, you know, for me, Christmas is about these very two important things. The glory to God yeah, that's right. and the peace and the goodwill now both are interlinked and strangely the peace is part of God's glorious plan so first let's talk about glory mm -hmm. see because it's all about his glory you see glory God's mm -hmm. glory isn't just like a characteristic you know God it's who he is you know we're just singing you're a good good father that's who you are it's the same thing about his glory he is glorious that's who he is you know everything he does reflects that glory like everything about him is about his glory it's like he can't help being glorious you know that's just who he is Amen. like if, if you just 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 read revelations for just one example verse nine and you know, it says, whenever the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever. Then he says, 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They lay their crowns before the throne and say, you are worthy, our yeah. Lord yeah. and God, to receive glory again. And mm. honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. Do 
you know, every time you read of angels, hosts of heavens, every time you read of them, when they're praising God, they always refer to his holiness or to his glory. It's just part of it. You know, there's nothing, just God, you're glorious. And if angels are, sometimes I think we should catch that vision too. I think we should understand that it's all about glory. And Christmas, this Christmas that we celebrate was part of this staggering, this monumental, this extraordinary, I mean, just, just think of any big words. Ordinary yeah. plan linked to God's glory. That's what yeah. it was. Yeah. And you know, the completion of this plan was foretold in Isaiah. You know, Isaiah said in chapter 40, verse 5, he says, Who? He says, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed. Yeah. And all mankind. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Will see it. You. For the mouth yeah, of the man. Lord has spoken. That's uh -huh. it. The glory of the Lord. So Christmas is all part of this revelation of his glory. In, in that famous passage in Habakkuk 2, in verse 14, it says, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Amen. Ah, that's glory. That's glory. Do you know, sometimes, you know, we describe great works, you know, like Handel's Messiah. We say, oh, wow, that was glorious. Actually, it's not. It's not. Nothing. The only one that gets glory is God. All glory belongs to God. Everything. And as I said, Christmas is part of that plan to cover the earth with God's glory, to reveal God to us. Do you know, when, when Jesus completed his task, when you read John chapter 17, the very first few verses, this is what he says at the end of his life on earth. He says, after Jesus said this, he looked towards heaven and he prayed, Father, the time has come. Glorify your son that your son may glorify you. For you granted Amen. him authority over all people that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Now, this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God. Oh, hallelujah. That they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have brought you glory on earth by completing the work you gave me, see, to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence, that the glory, with the glory I had with you, before the world began. I have yeah. revealed you to those yeah. whom you gave yeah. me yeah. out of the world. They were yours. You okay. gave them to me and they okay. have obeyed your word. Okay. That's what, when we obey his word, we get a revelation of his word. Yeah. But what about the second part of this great promise? What about the peace? Because he's also a revelation of God's plan for That's everlasting God. peace. Everlasting peace. Do you know, even before his birth, in another famous passage, which we always read in Isaiah chapter 9, it says, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder, and he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of peace yeah that's it <laughs> oh, and then he says and of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end mm -hmm. he will reign on david's throne and over his kingdom establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever the zeal of the lord almighty will accomplish this God's zeal is for peace. Mm -hmm. Those yes, that's right. whom the Lord favors. So the glory and the peace, they're well beyond our understanding. Do you know when, 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 when Jesus was speaking to his disciples in John chapter 14 in verse 27, he says, look, he says, peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. 
Do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. Why? Because you have his peace. That's right. You have his peace. That's Amen. what Christmas is Amen. about. His yeah, peace. That's right. Yeah. He told his disciples in chapter six, he says, you know, I've told you these things that in me you may have peace. Yeah. In this world you will have trouble, but take it. I have overcome the world. So in this world, we may, we may see all those stories. Oh, we're worrying about what will happen at the end of this year with Brexit. Oh, we're worried about what will happen with COVID-19. Oh, there's a vaccine in town. Oh, is it effective? What, 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 what? In this world, we will have trouble, but we shouldn't worry because he has overcome. That's what he came to do at Christmas. Mm. So you remember that story, don't you, about this competition to find out the artist who could best depict peace. So now there were two finalists. So one of them painted a very calm and serene scene, you know, there were leaves fluttering, there was this gentle breeze blowing. Oh, it was so calm. You know, you could see the lake. It was fantastic. But the winner was the one who depicted a stormy, tempestuous sea. And as you saw the crashing waves, you also saw this rock just above, above the waterline. And there was a bird sitting there with no care in the world, with the reassurance that in all that stormy sea, nothing could get to it because it was secure where it stood. That's the kind of peace that Jesus has brought us. Yeah. That's the kind of peace that Christmas is about. His peace that passes all understanding. That's right. It, we can't understand it. Isaiah put it this way in that famous chapter 55, verse 8. He says, look, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Mm -hmm. says, my ways declares the Lord. He says, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So maybe that's why we need to grasp the essence of Christmas. Do you know, we have this wonderful picture of this humble baby boy who was born in a manger, you know, with the animals. And it's all true. All of it is true. But is that all the story? You see, that birth was part of an almighty plan to bring glory and peace and goodwill. Now, if you believe me, just think about the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Now, this is just a wonderful time to imagine not that baby, but what that baby grew to become and just shout your praise for a few seconds. You know, just think of the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Just, mm -hmm. just take some time and shout hallelujah. Mm -hmm. you know, Amen. Get that humble baby. It was yeah. only a part of who he was. Think of who, why was he sent to the world? Why? He was sent to save me. He was sent to save you. He was sent to, to take me out of fiery clay, to set my feet on solid ground. That's what it's about. Come on, hallelujah. That's who he is. That's who he is. That's who he is. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. Thank you. Amen. You know, yes, Yes, Lord. That quiet yeah. entry into the world. Oh, was, yeah. it, was it that quiet? Was it that quiet? There was a firework display to rival <laughs> fireworks display. Yes. Yeah, that's right. You know, the star, yeah. the star mm -hmm. attracted people from distant land. Mm -hmm. Was it that quiet? Do you see what I mean? It wasn't, we, 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 so I'm not even sure we get the picture right. No, there was a, a choir, a concert to rival all concerts. Oh, this yes. was a celebration. It was. It yeah. was okay. It may have been in a stable. It may, but wow. It was a celebration beyond celebration. Yeah. It was. Right, even for us as humans, you know, 
God announced his birth in a strange way. God, you know, Herod, okay, Herod didn't get it, right? Okay. So, right, okay, Herod's like, I like my kingdom on earth. And here is a different kingdom. So, guess what? <laughs> and from afar came to educate him. That's right. They did. They came and brought gifts of gold. That's what they did. They came to celebrate. Then what about Simeon? Simeon, he was like an old man. He should be dead. But God said, no, no, Simeon. No, 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 no. I've got something that you must see. Yeah. I say, Simeon, you must see this, you know. I've got a plan for Chris. I've yeah. got a plan for Rose. You must see it, Simeon. You really need to. I'll keep you alive just long enough. Yeah. See okay. that? Oh, wow. Now, only the one who had power over life and death could do that. What do you think? So last week, we had this great Christmas celebration. It was wonderful. I loved it. And we had this activity scene, didn't we? And I love those plays. I actually like it, you know. We... The grumpy innkeeper, you know, it's just wonderful. And we had a great time talking about it, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And it, it was wonderful. But you know what I'm glad about? I'm glad that our children are learning at a very early age that this was no ordinary birth. That's right. I'm glad they're learning that it's different. Yes. You know? And I hope we learn it too. It's not really about the baby. Okay, so this week, one of my cousins turned... So we're all there on Zoom, you know, as is, as is the custom these days. Like, okay. And everyone starts talking about how wonderful he is. But, you know, strangely enough, nobody talked about him as a baby. That's right. No one did. You know, he didn't commission an artist to draw the scene in the hospital, you know, you know, with him <laughs> just being born, you know, and all the midwives and doctors doing their thing, you know, and him crying. Oh, baby. Oh, how cute. <laughs> no. But everyone <laughs> talked about his achievements. They were like, this is a really cool dude, you know. That's He's right. a great guy. And that's what you should focus on. Yeah, very good. Jesus come for. 2,000 years after we still celebrate his birth. But he's achieved so much more than just being born in a manger. That's right. Mm -hmm. Do you know? We could take an example from the shepherds, for example. So after the angels told them, this is what they did in, in Luke chapter 2, verse 15. So when the angels had left them and gone into heavens the shepherds they said to one another mm, let's go to bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the lord has told us about so they hurried right. off and they found mary and joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger and when they had seen him they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. We could do that too. After they had seen this wonderful sight, after they understood the true meaning that this baby is not going to be a baby forever, they spread the word and guess what? Everyone was amazed because it's an amazing, it's a glorious, it's an extraordinary story. Yeah. Our celebrations, our parties, they're great. But if they remained only for us, we've done only the first part of what the shepherds did. How will others know of this amazing story? Yeah, that's right. How would they know? And if we celebrate Christmas only on the 25th of December, then, you know, I don't know. I somehow believe we're reducing from this amazing and this glorious plan to only one day. Because God's plan for salvation might have begun with the birth of Jesus. But with each new Christian, the plan gets a new life. That's, right. That's good. Do you know? 
I actually believe Christmas is every day. No, no. Christmas is forever. Yeah. True. And sing, oh, come all ye faithful. Why should I sing it only on the 25th? Because all the faithful should come and adore him. Yeah, that's right. All faithful people should come every day, not just on Christmas. Yeah, man. Why? We should always adore him. But for another thing, it just puts an end to this rather distracting argument about whether Christ was actually born on the 25th of December. <laughs> you know, seriously. You don't know. <laughs> exactly. What's the point of the argument? Yeah, there is no what, what is the point of the discussion? There is something greater than when Christ was born. Why was he born? Yeah. That's greater. That's the focus. And you know, finally, 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 in celebration of this glorious, this glorious, this superlative, this whatever plan, can we just conclude by shouting our praise to the glorious yeah, King of Kings? Amen. Can we just conclude by yeah. shouting Wonderful. our praise Amen. to the to the bringer of peace? Can Praise we God. just conclude yeah. by yeah. shouting our praise to the wonderful counselor? Yeah. Can we just conclude yeah. by Amen. shouting our praise Amen. to the God of all gods? Amen. To the one who created Lord. all things Thank and for his Thank pleasure. Amen. The hour of Amen. 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 God, aren't you just Amen. wonderful? Aren't you Amen. glorious God? Aren't you just Amen. wonderful Lord? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise Amen. you today. Lord, we praise you today. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you for Christmas Day, but thank you for my salvation. Yes, amen. Thank you for that plan to save me, because where would I be without you? Where would I be? I'd be in that miry clay, but you did this amazing thing, this indescribable thing, like you gave up your throne in heaven, like... Yeah. Wow, God, I just thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise you, God. Amen. Yes, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Amen. Hallelujah, thank you, yeah, thank you, yes, thank you, Faith. Yeah, Lord, you're glorious. Mm. I'm going. I'm going to press stop on the recording button now because we're we're gonna we're gonna pray. <laughs>